Peace and blessings. It's me, your girl T, back with another video. Welcome to my channel, T's Braids, Weaves, and Wigs, Hair and Dance. Yes. So today, this is my client in her hair situation. These are before pictures of me taking her in as a client and look at this beautiful style that i created yes this style came out absolutely gorgeous she loved it and so did i this is the hair that we used we use five packs and it is some soft faux locks yes these are some soft curly faux locks and with this style I am also going to be using what? The 5 inch lace part cap. Yes, this lace part cap is absolutely beneficial for anyone who has hair loss, thin hair, short hair, damaged hair, and even for those who has healthy hair. Look how durable this cap is. I love this cap so much. The holes are very wide so that your hair can breathe in good and get good ventilation, which is super important when we are wearing these protective styles. We want to make sure that our hair is breathing. We want to make sure that the cap or the net that we are using is very durable, that it does not rip, it does not get holes in it, and this cap offers all of that. Yes, the lace is already installed in the cap for the part. This cap also comes with combs, and as you can see, I am removing those combs. I don't need these combs for this client. However, feel free to leave these combs in the cap they can help secure the cap and keep the cap from sliding moving and shifting however i have another method that i use to keep the cap from sliding and slipping and shifting and moving because definitely you do not want that so as you can see here i am placing this lace part cap on her head and i'm making sure that it is fitting comfortably and making sure that that part is exactly where she wants her part to lie yes you want to make sure that the part is where your client wants it to be because this cap is very versatile you can use it on the left side for a part the right side for a part and you can also place it in the middle yes this can also be used as a middle part so if you are interested in getting this cap it is on my website so tap the link in the description below to get this cap order it today and it will be shipped out today yes i do same day shipping so this is the method that i use for this cap when i remove the combs again you can leave the combs in but for my client she does not like those combs she said that it snags her braids so if you do not want to leave those combs in you can just sew this cap down why am i sewing it down because i want this cap to have extra security to make sure that it does not move shift or slide you do not want this cap to move at all during the style or the duration that the client is wearing the style so yes i did sew the cap down around the entire perimeter the perimeter is around the entire part of her head, around the forehead, around the neck, and the nape. As you can see, my hand is going around. That's where I sewed it. I sewed it all the way around to make sure that it is stable, that it is secure. That is definitely what you want because, again, you do not want it to move. So, after that i am going to start the fun part and that is crocheting crocheting the locks on this cap is absolutely very easy quick and fast if you want to make sure that you are using a protective style and a protective method use this cap it is very easy to install all crochets i have used this cap to do crochet locks to do crochet boho braids the yankee braids the hippie braids i have used this crochet cap to do all kinds of crochets and it works absolutely perfect as you can see here i am not crocheting on her natural hair i am only crocheting on this cap that's why i love this cap because it's so durable i am crocheting these locks only on the cap and that is to reduce any tension and pulling on her natural hair and it also gives me 
the opportunity to crochet in areas where she do not have hair. Those areas where she have hair loss is where I can use this cap as an extra benefit to crochet these locks to. As you can see here, yes, we are adding a little color. We want to give this style a pop and give it some highlight. So I am installing the number 30. Yes, the number 30, which is a Arben or a Honey Blonde. And I am installing that with the black. So yes, I use four packs of the 1B and only one pack of the number 30 just to give it a highlight and to give this style a pop. So again, as you can see here, I've already started installing that color and I am only crocheting on the cap. Look how beautiful this is coming out. Look how full it is coming out. Another thing that I love about this lace cap is look how close to the forehead I can get. I can go in because the holes are big enough so that I can do, I can crochet right on the edge. This is a game changer, ladies, I'm telling you. This is what makes the style look a lot more natural. And as you can see, here is the part. And I want to get those crochets as close to the part as I can. This is what's going to make it look so natural and look like her natural scalp and her natural part. The closer you can get those crochets to that part, the closer and the more natural it will look. So as you can see here, I'm getting very close to the edge, very close to that part. And again, I'm only crocheting on the cap and not onto her natural hair. I do not have to worry about this cap sliding, shifting, moving, or anything because remember, I sewed it down around the perimeter. Look how this is coming out. It is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. It is so full. Again, I love working with this cap and I love working with this hair. If you have not tried these soft crochet faux locks, try them. They are absolutely gorgeous. They last a long time. They do not unravel. They do not shed. They do not lose its pattern once you get it installed. I mean, I really love working with this hair and this cap together. This is a fantastic method to use. Again, this is great for anyone who has hair loss, who have thin hair, short hair, and with this cap, you already have a part. This makes the style go so much faster. I actually completed this style in an hour and 40 minutes from beginning to end. And that is what we want. We want to give our clients a nice, beautiful style. And we don't want it to have to take four and five hours to complete. So again, this is no weight, no tension, and no pulling on her natural hair. Why? Because I crocheted on the cap. This is perfect for any time of the year. It's perfect for the summer. It's perfect for the winter, the fall. It does not matter. And as you can see, I am getting really close to that part that is making this part look so natural. I am so feeling this part right now. So again, if you have not tried these faux locks, please try them. If you have not tried this lace part cap, please try it. Get your order in today. Tap the link in the description below. It is on my website. It's very affordable. And guess what, y'all? It is reusable. Yes, you can reuse this cap again. It is not a one-time use. You can reuse it again and again and again as long as you take good care of it you can wash it once you are completed using it and reuse it again so again i am filling in this part so that it looks as natural as possible oh my gosh look at this part look at this style it is coming out absolutely gorgeous. I love it and my client loved it in the end too. So continue to keep watching and you'll see how this beautiful style was accomplished. You'll see the extra that I put on this style to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. You can see here I'm adding a little powder foundation in that part to make that part look more natural like her hair. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, continue to keep watching. Please support my channel by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and please, please tap that bell so you do not miss any of my videos as I upload new videos every single week. Thanks to all my subscribers. I so, so, so appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, Gigi and my beautiful Lucy Lou for always supporting me. I am so thankful and grateful to have such good supporters. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay blessed. <music>